below. I've gone through every single Pokemon generation from Gen 1 all the way up to Gen 7, and finally, today, we are talking about Gen 8. In case you haven't watched the other videos in the series, I'm gonna be going through every single Pokemon in Gen 8 and telling you my opinions on them. Keep in mind that these are just my opinions, so feel free to disagree in the comments. Starting off with the little monkey next to me, Grookey. Of the three starters in this generation, Grookey is the one that took the longest time for me to really grow to like. I just feel like Grookey's face isn't super expressive, and I know there's gonna be people who come at me for that in the comments, but hey, it's an opinion. Hey, I'm gonna come at you for that. No! Matt, my boyfriend, is a huge Grookey fan. As far as middle stages go, Thwacky honestly isn't bad. Its color scheme is a little weird. It feels kind of like it should be shiny. If you were in the middle of the jungle and Rillaboom just came like running out of the trees at you or like even like a bunch of Rillabooms, like that would be really scary. And especially with its hidden ability and grassy glide, it lives up to that. Moving on to my personal favorite starter from this generation, Scarbunny. I feel like I relate to this Pokemon a lot because I also tend to be a pretty high energy. Raboot's design does not get enough love, like little emo Scorbunny. Cinderace with its hidden ability is basically like this generation's Greninja. Probably my favorite Pokemon in this entire generation. And yes, I know its arms are weird. I agree, the design there is not great. So I know I don't have a Sobble plushie next to me, but that does not mean that I dislike Sobble in any way. And the Sobble plushie is with my friend who lives in Connecticut. Shout out to you. Hi, hope you're doing good and stuff. Sobble is so stinking cute. Like I just want to pick it up and hug it and be like, it's okay, baby. It's gonna be all right. Drizzile is not my favorite middle stage. I just feel like in terms of its personality, it's such a huge shift from Sobble. I know a lot of people aren't fans of Inteleon's design, but like, you're wrong. Inteleon is awesome. Yeah, it's probably the worst competitively out of the three starters, but its design is cool. I think how tall it is makes it actually look kind of intimidating. And the finger guns thing is both like funny and also just, I don't know, I like it. So Squobit is unfortunately the only shiny Pokemon I have gotten in this generation so far. Kinda just looks like a Disney squirrel. Freedon also looks kinda like a Disney squirrel, but like a little bit worse. For the most part, I like Rookity's design. I like its cry, I like the way it moves in the wild, but I do feel like the little yellow part on its belly should be light blue. Morpha Square feels like a natural like middle stage between the first stage and final stage of this Pokemon. Corviknight though, oh my god. Like when I saw this Pokemon for the first time, what is that? I want one so bad. I was freaking out. Look at Corviknight's design. Like, whoa, this like dark blue metallic bird with red eyes and it carries like taxis around and it's also got this like Edgar Allan Poe, like quote the Raven Nevermore thing going on. And I'm just like, yes. Everything about this is perfect and I love it. And it was the first Pokemon in Galar that I was like, I need to have that on my team, 100%. Like more than even the starters, I was like, I need to have Corviknight on my team. The bug is okay. I appreciate it's like nerd kind of backstory that's going on. Like that's kind of cute. And then for Dottler, like as far as bugs go, that's a pretty unique middle stage. But then they dial it up to like 11 for Orbeetle. Orbeetle is basically the ladybug flying saucer that I never knew that I needed in my life. Snicket is kind of underwhelming for me. I feel like it kind of reminds me of Vulpix. It's just dark type, so it's also kind of like Poochyanna. It's like Poochyanna and Vulpix kind of got combined into one Pokemon. I don't like Nicket, but I actually like dislike Feeble. That little mustache thing going on, like no, 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 I don't like it. It's just too small and awkward and just no. Asphalt is okay, like it's kind of pretty, but I feel like there have been a lot of Pokemon similar to this in other generations, so I'm not like, woo, Gossifleur. Well, the Goss is, in my opinion, a little bit more interesting in its design, but it's still pretty similar to some previous grass type Pokemon. Hulu is so cute, it's this little ball of floof, and I just like wanna hug it, but then like, I just imagine hugging it and it like 
falls out of my arms and just starts rolling and just keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. I feel like they should have made Wooloo's evolution adorable because like Wooloo is adorable, but then Double is just not at all. Toodle! Okay, I know not everybody likes Toodle because its head is huge and it does not seem anatomically correct. It looks like it should just be falling over all the time, like its neck definitely can't support its head. But honestly, I think that makes it even more adorable and I just want to like hug it and be like, no, it's okay, little turtle, I got you. And then Dreadnought is sick. I was kind of underwhelmed by Dreadnought the first time I saw it in the trailer, but now that I've had one on my team, I really like it. It's also super cute in Pokemon Camp when Dreadnought smiles. Yamper is a very cute Pokemon. I had one on my team when I did my playthrough. It's not as cute as Wooloo, I would say, but it's still a really cute Pokemon. I love Bolton's design. I like the way it just looks like it's ready to go. I guess I'm I'm just a very like high energy person so I like Pokemon that seem high energy because I kind of like vibe with them you know what I mean I'm not a huge fan of Roly Coley's design I think part of it might be because I've never actually used one there's just nothing going for it in my opinion it's kind of like Geodude but with a bit of fire thrown in Carpool is even worse and I think this largely has to do with its eyes like Roly Coley has orangish red eyes and then in Carpool they turn to white and I feel like if they stayed that orange red color it would be better and just look more metal Menacing. Colossal is probably the most interesting Pokemon in this line, but I don't feel like its design fully works because we have other Pokemon that are very similar to this in terms of the way it looks, like Rhyperior. So I'm just kind of like, eh. Applin is so cute, and I love how it's this idea of like, a worm that goes into an apple, but a worm like with a Y is also a dragon. And then you go into the whole story of this Pokemon where like you give someone you love an apple. I also really like both of its evolutions. I feel like they're both just kind of silly and cute, but they're also dragons, so they're cool at the same time. For Flapple, I like how parts of its body are actually made up of pieces of the apple, and I like how its little cheeks are. Like they're just kind of cute. The form that I had on my team though was Appleton. I'm a huge fan of apple pies because my grandma used to make them for me all the time and so it just brings back so many memories. I actually named my Appleton after my grandma. I honestly forgot Silicobra existed until I started this video and um, yeah that probably tells you everything you need to know about that Pokemon. Sandaconda on its own is not very interesting but its Gigantamax form is really cool like the whole sand tornado thing with the little snake head peeking out the top. Everything about that is just awesome. Next up we have Cramorant, which is a hilarious Pokemon. The fact that it shoots Pikachu out of its like beak sometimes is hilarious. Aracuda is okay, I guess. Like the design makes sense. It's kind of like an arrow that shoots through the water. I just kind of wish it had a different color scheme. I don't feel like those colors look fantastic together. They just seem kind of a bit too dull. And then Barrascuta is like straight up just not a good looking Pokemon, but it's very fast and it's pretty strong. So like I respect it and I would like never talk down on somebody for using one because like it's a powerful Pokemon. I have a feeling that there might be some Toxel fans out there, but uh, I very much dislike this Pokemon. I feel like it's kind of like Wismer, but like way worse because it's not very cute. It's like a baby that just cries all the time and like, I don't want that in my life. Toxtricity though is significantly cooler. I thought that it would be better competitively, but it's actually just not that good. Like I have never been able to use one in a way that really works. I really like Sizzlepeed's design. I like the way that it can kind of hide in the grass because it's really short. And unlike with Thievil, I feel like this one's little mustache kind of works because it's like a fire mustache. And then Centiscorch is just straight up cool, especially it's Gigantamax form where it goes all like you know what I mean. I haven't used a scent to scorch in battles in any way but because of its ability it works really well to have on your team when you're hatching eggs. Clownfuss's design is just okay 
Personally, I don't really like this Pokemon very much. It feels kind of unnecessary. I feel really similarly about Graplocked. I like its design a little bit more than Clobopus, I guess. But I feel like if I want like a Luchador Pokemon, I'm probably gonna go with Howlucha. For those of you who don't know, I drink tea a lot. Like many, many cups a day. Probably like five cups a day. Decaf, guys. I have enough energy. I do not need more caffeine in my life. So of course I like Sinistee. Plus like the little pinky with the little hand for the cup thing. It's just, it's perfect. It's a perfect teacup Pokemon. I also really like Poltegeist for similar reasons. The fact that it's this little ghost in a teacup, like yes, I love it. Atena is cute. It reminds me of this like cartoon comedy sketch where it's like everybody has to wear a hat and then they beat up the guy that's not wearing a hat. I don't know if you guys have seen that. That probably doesn't make sense if you haven't seen it. Maybe I should like put a clip of it over here somewhere. Hatchrim is like even more adorable. Like the little pigtails and its color scheme, so cute. Hatterini though, I have mixed feelings on. I feel like it changes the direction of its line. Serious and majestic. And I liked the cute and silly. I was fine with it saying cute and silly. Oh my gosh, Invidimp is ridiculous. I remember like the day of that Glimwood Tangle live stream thing. I was at work and I would just have it on in the background with my headphones in and whenever there was a sound, I was like, oh, what is it, what is it, is it a new Pokemon? I never really felt like Pokemon would go with like demons. Those can be very controversial, but like I'm so glad that they did. Workram I also generally like but I have a couple problems with it. The first thing is the green pants. Like why, why would they do that? It does not work with the other colors in this Pokemon's design. And then also its nose being like really long and pointy. I don't like that about it. But other than those things, I like this Pokemon. When I first saw Grimmsnarl, I was kind of disappointed because I felt like it wasn't the right progression from Impidimp. I also, again, really don't like the green in its color scheme, but then I saw Grimmsnarl's shiny form and that design is fantastic. Like simply changing the colors would have done so much for this Pokemon. Its Gigantamax form though is incredibly scary. Like, whoa, the first time I saw that, I was like, I'm about to die, aren't I? This is the end, this is, this is how it all ends. Pretty sure I like one hit KO'd it, so. There's that. Hashtag sword and shield too easy. Galarian Zigzagoon is super cool. I love the way it like jumps around. I love its color scheme. It's shiny form. Oh my gosh. I want its shiny form so bad. Like I have fought so many Zigzagoons for EV training and I still have not found shiny. Galarian Linden is also pretty cool, but I just don't have as many interactions with it as I do with Zigzagoon. I also am a big fan of Obstagoon. I like the way that it's just kind of crossing its arms and acting all tough. It reminds me of like everyone's preteen slash early teen emo years. I don't like Galarian Meowth. I just, no, I don't like its design. No. Berserker though has definitely grown on me, especially seeing how it runs in the overworld and learning a little bit more about its like Viking origins. Galarian Corsola, like, Yes. And they already kind of talked about how the coral reef is going extinct in earlier generations, but now like having it actually be a ghost type Pokemon was just perfect. Plus if you give that thing an Eviolite, it is scary to fight. I also really love Cursula's design. I kind of wish it had a slightly different name because I feel like it's too close to Corsola. But like other than that, very cool. Larian Farfetch'd is okay. There's not really much to say about it. It kind of looks like regular Farfetch. Surfetch though is a very interesting Pokemon. The way that it can just kind of land critical hits it's kind of insane. I'm glad they gave Farfetch'd a little love. Galarian Ponyta is adorable. Like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. Originally, I was gonna get Pokemon Sword and then they revealed that Galarian Ponyta was only available in Shield and like, that made my decision to get shield instead of sword. Do I somewhat regret that decision? Yes, but I had no choice because Ponyta was just that cute. Larian Rapidash is also a beautiful Pokemon. I do wish though that its eyes 
looked a little bit different because it looks kind of mean and I don't feel like that's the right vibe for this Pokemon. Galarian Weezing is okay. The top hat idea is pretty cool and the fact that they're kind of like smokestacks just makes sense. But I think since they're going with it purifying the air, they shouldn't have had the little smog be green. I think they should have made it like a pink color to match its fairy typing. I love the concept for Galarian Stunfisk because you have like the Pokeball luring people into the bear trap. Is Stunfisk my favorite Pokemon? No, but it's fine. I was never a huge fan of regular Darumaka, but I kind of like Galarian Darumaka a little bit more. It kind of looks like when you take a little kid and you put him in snow pants and like a giant puffy coat and a hat and gloves and they're just there like, I can't move my arms, I'm wearing too many clothes. Galarian Darmanitan is okay. It's not my favorite Pokemon, but I do really like how it becomes a snowman in its Zen mode. Galarian Mr. Mime is pretty much as creepy as regular Mr. Mime. I like Mr. Rhymes animations where it kind of like tap dances, but it's still a creepy kind of clown thing, so I don't love it. I don't really have much to say about Galarian, you mask. It just kind of is. Renorigus is a Pokemon that when I first saw it, I didn't really like it, but its design has definitely grown on me over time. I think it's another one that definitely benefits from its animations in the game. Milkery is so cute. It's just like a little drop of milk. Alchemy is a really cute Pokemon as well. For a while, I was trying to get every single color variation of Alchemy, but it was just too much, so I gave up. The whole concept behind Phalanx is super cool. Like you have all of these little Pokemon and a lot of times people will mistake it for like a bug, but then you realize it's all just kind of like a legion of these little fighters. And their animations are also super cool. All right guys, I've talked about how I don't really like Pukamuku and Pincurchin is basically Pukamuku version two, so I really don't like this Pokemon. Snob is adorable, but evolving it is kind of a pain. It crawls so slow in Pokemon Camp. Like you could just leave it going for a while. You can just like leave and go get chores done. And then by the time you come back, maybe Snum will be right near you. I'm very glad that we can now catch Frostmoth in the wild in these new expansions because, oh my God, I do not want to work on evolving more Snum. Plus it looks like super elegant and majestic, just like flying around on those snowy peaks. Like, yes, it's like a very atmospheric Pokemon. I don't really like Stonejourner. I get what they're going for. like. The inspiration is obvious, but I don't feel like they really got this one. Ice Q is definitely more interesting with its whole ice face, noise face, nice face, no ice face. You know what I mean? I personally am not a huge fan of Ice Q though, but I do like the way that it floats in the water because that's pretty funny. And Didi just feels like a more boring version of Meowstic, so. I don't really like it very much. Morpeko is great. I love the way that it switches from like da, 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 to rah. And I love that the reason that it switches is because it's hungry, aka hangry. I feel like Cute Fan is a really underappreciated Pokemon. It's really cute. It almost has like the word cute in its name. Aparasha is another Pokemon that I feel like doesn't get as much love as it deserves. Its color scheme is beautiful and its design is really cool. Although it's Gigantamax form. The way that it stands makes it kind of look like a thwomp from Mario and that's just not the coolest thing ever. All right, we're gonna talk about the fossils. I get their whole backstory and history and why they are the way that they are. Like, I just wish there was a kind of perfect form. But anyways, going through them one by one, Drakezolt looks really awkward. Like, it looks like a tiny little dinosaur that's wearing a Halloween costume of a bigger dinosaur. Arctozolt has that, like, booger thing going on, the same way that Cubchoo did, and I just, I never really like that. Drakevish looks really awkward. In terms of design, Arctivish looks the most coherent, but still don't really like it. Also, it's heads upside down which is weird. Duraludon is an interesting Pokemon. I do like its design. I feel like its color scheme just kind of works really well. I've never personally used one though, and I don't know if it's very good. I don't feel like I see them used competitively like ever. Dreepy is adorable and silly, and I love it. Cracklope just feels kind of like a typical middle stage. It's kind of like a Pidgeotto, right? Like Pidgeotto isn't 
that different from Pidgeot. Dragapult though, I love. I have one that I have competitively trained. It's a pretty good Pokemon and its design is both hilarious and cool at the same time. I definitely prefer Zacian over Zamazenta. I know I played Pokemon Shield, not Pokemon Sword, so you would think it'd be the other way around. But I feel like Zacian is better competitively. I like its design better and it's just gotten me a lot of wins in different fights. That's not to say I don't like Zamazenta though. I think Zamazenta is also a really cool Pokemon. It's just like compared to Zacian, it's definitely second best. Eternatus is so incredibly creepy and cool. It's a totally different Pokemon from like anything we're used to. Kind of like it's the skeleton like pulsing with energy and just that's something out of a horror movie, but this is Pokemon. We got Glorian Slowpoke, which is an interesting version of Slowpoke because it's actually really fast. I think that whole change was really funny, though it didn't really make that much sense because like realistically, how could Slowpoke be fast? Galarian Slowbro is okay. It's not personally one of my favorite Pokemon, but I haven't had a lot of chances to use it yet. So it's possible that it'll grow on me. I definitely like Galarian Slow King's design better than Galarian Slowbro. I feel like it's bringing something more different to the Pokemon and it looks a little bit creepy, but like in a cool way. Kupfu is adorable and I love the way that they incorporate him into the story of the Isle of Armor. I wish that there was a little bit more that's done with him before he evolves or like maybe something different that's done with him because it felt a little bit like you're checking the boxes. But I think partly because I took time away from the Isle of Armor with Kupfu to Eevee train it, I started to build more of an attachment to this Pokemon. It's really cute and tough at the same time, which is a combination that I personally really like. Both forms of Urshifu are really cool. I like those designs. I think the colors work well together. It's just a cool looking Pokemon. However, it's Gigantamax forms. Wow, cool looking, feel kind of out of place. Like they're a bit too 3D, a bit too glowy. I don't know what it is, but like I just can't picture them in 2D. And since Pokemon like originally was in 2D, it just kind of feels out of place. The reveal of the Galarian legendary birds. Oh my gosh, my mind was just like. They're gonna have Galarian forms of legendaries. Galarian Articuno kind of looks like Cyclops. I love its color scheme and design. And then Galarian Zapdos kind of reminds me of the Roadrunner, the way it's just like going so fast. And then Galarian Moltres' design is just straight up epic. The black and red color scheme is like so menacing. It's just perfect. Zarud is a Pokemon that I just really don't have a lot of experience with. It's kind of a newer Pokemon. Since it's kind of like the third Pokemon with Zacian and Zamazenta, I feel like it should have been a wolf. It seems a little weird that it's not more dog-like. Regieleki is fantastic. I have a competitively trained Regieleki. It's so much fun to use. You can use it to set up screens. You can use it with its ability to deal out massive damage. And then if you're in a tough spot, you can always Volt Switch out. And it's animations where it's kind of like jumping around, very cool. The way it attacks, also very cool. Everything about this Pokemon is just great. Regidrago is an okay Pokemon, but like compared to Regieleki in my opinion, it's just, it's just not as good. I do like Regidrago's color scheme, but I don't really feel like it makes sense to have a dragon Reggie. In terms of competitive viability, I chose Glastrier over Spectrier because I felt like I needed more of what Glastrier offers as opposed to what Spectrier offers. But in terms of design, I just think Glastrier is okay. I like Spectrier's design a lot better. I feel like the colors work better together and the whole vibe that it's going for is just more interesting to me. Honestly, both of these Pokemon are pretty great and I wish that I could have both of them, but sadly, you can't. When I first saw Calyrex as designed, I was not super enthused. I didn't hate it, but I was just kind of like, meh. But seeing it float around and take control over different things and use its different powers, I like it a lot more now. And those are all of the Pokemon in Gen 8. And all of the Pokemon, if you watched my other videos. It feels kind of like an end of an era to have done all of the generations. Let me know in the comments what other Pokemon related videos you would like to see. And of course, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Kayla Castle for updates about upcoming videos.